Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am at Case of the Mob Cave. Welcome to another functions video. So, if you're anything like me, then you could always do with a little bit more beef in your life. Well, now, with functions and a resource pack, you can create your very own vintage beef to be your companion in a Minecraft world. And here he is. No matter where you go, he'll always be nearby. He may not do much fighting, but he'll be sure to let you know when there's trouble around. And if you're ever in need of food, you'll be happy to have him around, because every now and then you might catch him depositing some cooked beef. With consent from Vintage Beef himself, the resource pack gives him the familiar dulcet tones that we know and love. Make sure you listen out for his occasional one-liners. This is kinda cool, not gonna lie. Be aware, he has a natural animal magnetism, and dogs just won't leave him alone. But don't worry, he'll always catch up to you, even if he is slowed down by the pups. And when the day is done, let Beef know that you need to sleep by standing on the bed, and he'll make himself scarce. But he'll always come right back in the morning, full of energy for the new day. If you want your very own vintage Beef in your world, here's what you have to do. Download the functions files and the resource pack in the description. If you don't have a world ready for him yet, create a new world and then quit out of it. In your Minecraft saves, find your world and go into Data, Functions, create a new folder called Custom, and then paste in the functions files. Paste the resource pack into your resource packs folder, and then load up the world and resource pack in-game. Now, all you have to do is run the command slash function custom colon beef start, and here he is, ready for an adventure with you. If you want to learn about how the Vintage Beef functions work, or which things you can customize within the functions, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our forthcoming tutorial on how to create your own Vintage Beef. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Ed Case, and I'll see you in the next functions tutorial. Bye!